Most of us can agree when Fortnite added a creative mode, ha, it made the game a lot more enjoyable. I mean, the amount of unique and imaginative creations made so far is incredible, and they're just about something for everyone. Thanks to many of these dedicated designers, there are now a number of courses made specifically to help players practice and improve their game mechanics. So, in this video, we're going to be discussing four creative maps that are going to help you warm up just like the pros do. And if you want to run through these maps with a skilled coach, check out Pro Guy's new Insta Pro tool. Chat with the coach within seconds. Hey guys, this is Keith Allen, and let's get started. Now, by playing these maps, even for just a few minutes each day, you'll be greatly improving your essential aim, building, editing, and movement ability. A lot of these skills require good muscle memory to perform quickly, and that's exactly what's gonna improve with you as you continuously train with these courses. So, just a quick reminder for those who forget how to load a creative map. You start a creative server, head over to one of the feature riffs, hold your interact button, and type in or paste the code at the top. Then, select the course you wanna practice and enter the riff when it's ready. If you're logged in on your web browser, you can always press the add to my queue button on the course webpage to add it to your favorites. We'll leave the course codes and links in the description, so be sure to check them out. Kanduk's 3-in-1 editing course serves as a great map for beginners who want to start practicing their edits. It's an older map compared to some of the others we'll be going over soon, but it's quick, simple, and still teaches a lot of fundamentals. Once you're loaded in, start the game and then select your course. There are three difficulties to this course, beginner, intermediate, and expert. If you have no experience doing any edit warm-up, start off with beginner. You'll soon be working your way up, no problem. Step on the little timer to begin. The pieces are pretty much all laid out for you. You just need to edit or reset your way through them. There are a few sections where you don't even have to edit. Instead, they're meant for practicing useful build techniques. One is the ramping section, where you'll practice up to the double floor wall ramp, depending on difficulty. The second is the side jump section in level two, And the last is the waterfall segment in level three. The map is great because it's relatively short compared to most courses. And at the same time, it still manages to provide the necessary training for players to learn essential edit, build, and movement mechanics. While it may feel tedious, the repetitive nature of these courses is what will help you build your muscle memory. Only then you can perform edits and builds at the level of a pro. Here's a quick general tip if you're playing with the keyboard and mouse. If you aren't already, try resetting your scroll wheel to reset edits. To do this, navigate to your in-game input settings. Under Building, add scroll wheel up or down as a second keybind for reset building edit. Under miscellaneous, add that same scroll wheel direction as a second bind for building edit. Now, in order to reset a build piece, you just need to look at it and scroll. It helps out a bit in this course, but you'll find yourself using it all the time. It's much faster than pressing the edit key, right clicking and then confirming. That's why almost every pro uses reset edit. Overall, the three in one course is pretty quick to complete. If you wanna run through it again, open the menu in in-game and then press in-game. Then press play again to reset. If you feel like you've gotten all your edits down, okay, let's move into a course that'll improve your aim. Welcome to Gersey's Combat Training. It's a pretty short course that will take you through a variety of aim training with most weapon types. In the newest version of the map, just before the weapons room, there is a large area meant for practicing tunneling. It's a pretty good exercise that helps improve late game rotations. But if you're just looking to warm up your aim, ignore it. Instead, select the weapons you want to train with and proceed onward. What's great about this course is that Gersey wrote instructions on the wall before each segment. That way, you have a much better idea of what is expected for each part. Now, do the same thing except for shoot the moving targets while your shotgun after each layer. Oh, wait. Wait, is it just like a regular staircase? Oh, shit. Wait. Is it ramp? Oh. Wait, am I doing a two layer ramp? What up, Symphony? With instructions posted all over, most of this map is pretty self explanatory. As you progress, you, you find that some segments have a start and end. In others, you can stop and practice your aim for however long you want. It's definitely a good idea to stop at each of these rooms. They're a great opportunity to grind working on your aim. Make sure that you're not only practicing one aiming style. For instance, train your fast flicks with a shotgun, but also practice taking your time when you aim one. With a rifle, try firing with first shot accuracy, but then also practice tracking opponents with a full spray. However, if there's one weapon or aim technique you really think you need improvement in, take a bit longer warming up those. One last side note, these ranges are also a great opportunity for you to make adjustments to your sensitivity. If you feel like you're overshooting too much or not flicking far enough, you can lower or raise your sins accordingly. Aim assist works on all these targets as well. So controller players can tweak their settings to find what works as well. If you're looking for a hardcore building and editing course, we got you. 
Probably the longest course on our list, Wizite's World Cup warm-up is the toughest to complete. This challenging course provides a ton of practice for builds and edits. Warning, the course can take a long time to complete. A very good player can complete it under 10 minutes, but if you're just developing your skills, it might take you more than 30. If you have the time, don't worry. Playing through it all is great practice. This course is way too long to go over every section in this video. We recommend trying out the map at first, go through it, and if you're confused about any section, check out the run-through video. Let's talk about a few spots though. About halfway through the run, you'll reach this tunneling section. There are a bunch of pesky bots that like to pre-fire, and they pretty much have perfect aim. The objective is to tunnel straight through to the other side. Tunneling is a super useful technique where you have to expand out by creating a new box. When you do it fast enough, you can maintain full running speed while still covering every angle. It's a vital move and essential for competitive matches. This part can be pretty hard, especially if you haven't done it before. You have to be really fast here to avoid getting shot. It's too slow and you might even die. Don't worry if that happens, you'll respond at the checkpoint and you can do it again. And after a bit, this will come to you no problem. Trust me, the second tunneling section helps you build diagonally without edits. It's easier to perform, but it takes you more mass and leaves you a bit more exposed. In the large room, it seems the objective is to just climb to the top. Simple, there are no specific moves you need to do here. You could just use this area to practice high ground retakes, 90, side jumps, or other build techniques you feel need some work. The section with the weapons is pretty straightforward. It's to help you perform what's known as the Tifu Classic, where you shoot below and place a floor for cover. The rest of this section has you editing before you kill each bot. This course is intense. We can't recommend it enough. If you manage to complete it at least once every day before you hop into matches, you're gonna find yourself doing a lot better and winning more games. Try it out and let us know if your gameplay improves. The last warm-up course is another all-in course, this time by Salaj. The layout of this one is fantastic. You're brought to a big hub room with four different paths to choose from. You could choose from which section you like to play from here, so it's great. Unfortunately, the layout is pretty confusing. It doesn't really tell you what's in each direction. So, we're gonna try to summarize it real quick. To the north, there's an aim training area with two different gun ranges. One has moving targets in your field of view. The other is a large room with targets all around you. So, pick up the weapons you wanna use and then try out each target range. South of the starting room, there's a more advanced practice range. This time, the targets are smaller, meaning you need to be more precise. It's pretty straightforward. You just shoot the tiles. The West is set up for edit training. There are two time courses you can take here. The one on your left is easier in difficulty and the one on your right is quite hard. To start, just step up to the timer. Begin by going through the floor and ramp next to you. Now, if you wanna practice repetitive edits, there's a spot set up for that as well for the West. Finally, toward the east, there's a massive free building area. In this big dark room, you can practice whatever building and editing you feel. It's pretty cool that it's here because you don't need to swap maps to practice free building. Overall, this map is a great change of pace from the linear designs of the other courses. If you want the most balanced training available on one map, this is it right here. Back in the day, players had to load into Playground or 50-50, farming mats in order to practice builds and edits. There was no good way to train your aim either. I mean, today, right now, you could just load into Creative and have an uninterrupted warm-up session. It's really that simple now. Okay, if you aren't taking advantage of these warm-up courses, there's a great deal of self-improvement you're missing out on. Remember, guys, come on. Practice, practice, practice. That's the key to improving, and for real, these courses help you do it the best. 
Getting good with the mechanics, however, is only half the battle. You also need solid game sense to help you win the matches. Be sure to check out ProGuys.com as well as the rest of our YouTube channel for more tips, tricks, and guides to help you understand the game better. Hey guys, once again, this is Keith Allen. Hey, connect with me on my Instagram, follow me. We got some things coming out, and thanks for watching.